Today I'm looking at a very affordable wireless mic system that works great with smartphones as well as traditional cameras. Before we get into it, remember, if you want to learn more about smartphone video and cinematography, check out one of my courses like the Complete Guide to Filmic Pro or Smartphone Cinematography 101 or my LumaFusion color grading course. Links to all these are in the description below. The mics I'm looking at are the brand new ones from Comica, the Comica Boom XD series. Now I have a confession to make. I've actually had this mic since January of this year, January 2020. It is now May 2020. You can probably figure out why this review is just coming out. The global pandemic caused all kinds of manufacturing issues for Comica. The release was delayed. And then by the time they got back around to it, we have a lockdown here in the States. And so this has been a work in progress video for a while. But I have to say, it's been worth the wait. Spoiler alert, this is a really good affordable wireless mic system. Comica sent me two different versions of this mic kit. The first one is the D1, and it is designed to use with any kind of camera, really mirrorless or smartphone. You have to use an adapter cable. And they also sent me the UC1. Now this one is pretty unique. It is designed for smartphones. However, this particular model won't work with an iPhone. And the reason being is it is a USB-C connector. I believe they are making a lightning port version, but right now for the dedicated smartphone version, it is designed for USB-C devices. The two kits come with accessories, which is nice. They come with a USB-C charging cable, a dead cat that you can use on the actual mic. The transmitter has a built-in mic, or, and this is really nice, they include a wired lav mic. Additionally, the D1 version includes cables for using with traditional cameras or smartphones. Although with these cables, you'll need an adapter to use it with an iPhone or an Android phone that doesn't have an analog input. All right, things I like about this are, well, they're very small and they're easy to use. They're super light. I like that it has a built-in mic. You can use this without a wired lob, but I also like, of course, that it comes with a wired lob. It has a mute button, which is nice and you can easily pair it with any receiver. The screen is very simple, it's easy to read. Hopefully you can see that, it's a little bit hard, it's black on black here. And then it has this belt clip, which is great. So you can actually put it on your belt or this will fit into a cold shoe. You could also clip it onto a phone if you wanted to. And I mentioned the lav mic, the nice thing is this cable clips easily right into the top and it has this little plastic piece here that will secure it so it won't easily come out, which I do like. When you drop this down into your pocket or clip it on your jeans or something, this could potentially come out, but that's just a nice little simple touch that allows it to be more secure. And then one thing I didn't mention was it has a USB-C port for charging. These have really good battery life. They last about five hours in use. Standby time is incredibly long. I mentioned I got these back in January and it's now May 2020 and they've been in storage and I never charged them and when I took them back out of the box they were fully charged and so I think that's really great. It's a simple thing but I also like the display when the battery is charging. A very easy to see screen and of course it indicates when the battery is fully charged. Another thing I really like they actually say transmitter and receiver on the actual devices. A little thing, but it can actually really speed things up when you're grabbing these out of your bag since they're the exact same size. Now the USB receiver is very simple and that's something I do like. It has a stereo mono switch and then it has a gain switch here. Also, this is really nice. It has a headphone jack. As everybody knows on iPhones especially, no device has an analog headphone jack. And so when this is plugged in, you can then control it and monitor the audio. Now this one actually doesn't work with iPhone, just to be clear, this is USB-C, but they do have a lightning version coming very soon. And the D1 receiver looks a lot like the transmitter pack. It's the same size, of course, but then this is what you put on your camera or your phone. This has a headphone jack and the mic port. And then on the side you have your mono and stereo button again, and an AB switch, which these will again control the gain. 
The only thing I really don't like is this little dead cat. It's great they give this to you, but it's really hard to get on. It's got this little loop in here or this little opening that will supposedly slip over the mic here. But I have a very hard time getting it on. Probably operator error, but nonetheless, this little system needs work in a version two, in my opinion. Now, truth be told, I probably wouldn't use this that often anyway, but I do wish it went on easier. All right, test recording using the Comica Boom XD, the smartphone version. I'm actually running it into my iPad Pro via USB-C and I'm recording directly into the transmitter, the built-in microphone. And this is the stereo setting. Okay, now this is recording with the same setup, although now I have it in mono mode. Recording mono audio with the Comica Boom XD using the built-in mic on the transmitter, recording into Filmic Pro and my iPad Pro. Okay, and now I'm recording with the same setup, but I'm using the included wired lavalier mic. The receiver is set to stereo when I'm recording into Filmic Pro using the iPad Pro and again using the Comica Boom XD. And one last recording here, same setup as before, using an external lavalier microphone plugged into the Comica Boom XD. I am recording in mono mode into my iPad Pro and Filmic Pro. All right, so I am now recording in mono mode, but I now have two transmitters paired with the one receiver. And that is the receiver designed for smartphones, and in this case, I'm using my iPad Pro. The nice thing is you could have two mics set up with one receiver. So right now I'm talking on the A mic, which would be the left channel, channel one. And now I'm talking on the B mic, which is the right-hand channel, which is channel two. So again, to make this work, you use the mono setting and you get a split mono track. And there aren't many wireless mic systems out there that can do this, especially at this price point. And so this is a really great feature of this Comica Boom XD system. All right, just a quick outdoor shot, shooting on the Sony a6400 using the Comica wireless mics. And here I go. I'm now about 20 feet away. I'm now about 50 feet away. Walking backward, how's the sound? I'm now probably 75 feet away. I'm now roughly 100 feet away. I'm now behind this playground equipment, probably 125 feet away. The mic is rated for 50 meters, so that's about 150 feet for us in the United States. So now I'm back here by this fence, walking around. My back is turned. Now I'm at the very back of the fence here. I would say I'm about 150 feet away, roughly thereabouts. All right, I'm sure some of you guys have been wondering, how does this compare to the Rode Wireless Go? And this guy was the first on the market. And I bought these right after they came out at NAB last year. And these are great. I love the Rode Wireless Go mics, I really do. And so what has happened here, Comica took their design and made it their own. And they have actually improved on it in a lot of ways. They're pretty much the same size. The Comica is more rectangular shaped and Rode is more square. They both work well, they both are very light. They're both very easy to use. And they both have similar functionality. The biggest differences really are that Comica, you can actually monitor your audio with headphones, which I think is a really nice touch. You can also do the split channel using one receiver for two transmitters, which is amazing. That's really great. And the Comica comes with a microphone. The Rode Wireless Go does not come with a mic besides the built-in mic. However, you can buy a separate lav mic and plug it in. So what that also means is the Comica is much more affordable. You get an entire kit with a mic for probably $100 less thereabouts, depending on which mic set you buy. One thing I don't like about the Comica, it's just a pet peeve, is I don't like how big the windscreen is on the mic. It's a minor thing, but I just think those look kind of silly when they're on your lapel. If you don't see it, they actually work fine. They may even work better than the smaller ones, but the smaller ones just look so much better on screen. 
But again, it is super nice that this comes with the mic kit. This is an extra expense with the Rode. I think it's about 70 or 80 US dollars extra for the Rode lav mic. Okay, I'm now recording with the Comica Boom XD. This is the D1, and I'm going into my Sony A6400. I'm inside. The air conditioning is on, and so you might hear some AC in the background. I've got the mic clipped on to my shirt. And one thing that's great is I am able to monitor the audio with the headphone jack in the receiver. If you know the Sony A6400, you know it does not have a headphone jack. All right, now I'm recording with the Rode Wireless Go. Same setup with my Sony A6400. Although with this particular mic, I cannot monitor the audio, but I can see the meters and they're looking pretty good. One note with the Rode Wireless Go, it instantly goes to both channels. With the Comica, it will send it to discrete channels, depending on how you set it up. So again, this is the Rode Wireless Go. I'm using the attached lav mic. How does it sound compared to the Comica? Well, if you haven't figured it out, I really like these mic kits. There's no question in my mind, this is the best bang for the buck wireless system you can get right now. Is it better than Rode? Well, that's subjective. It has more features than Rode. I think the Rode mic has better build quality, and I think the sound on the Rode mic is a little bit better, but that definitely can be subjective. Rode makes excellent quality products, and so I still recommend the Rode mic, but for those of you that like the feature set of the Comica, and want to save a little bit of money, it's a great buy. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have either one of these mic kits? Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.